Alright, just please confirm you don't hear weird music on your headsets. Well, I do. Well, that you're not playing. Nice digs. Think you got a message on that thing. Download and begin playback. Cypher 9, intelligence is finalizing your target list, but in the meantime, there's a formality we need to address. With Darth Jadis's demise, his seat on the Dark Council has opened. It will be filled by his daughter and sole apprentice, Darth Jorid. Jadis has a daughter? Lord Jorid demands to meet with you. Proceed to Korriban at once. She has authorized your presence in the Sith Academy. Find a seat. We leave immediately. Give me a shout if you need something. I'm gonna see how they stock the lounge. Apprentice, I trust you find your starship satisfactory? It's an outstanding vessel. I hope that it serves you well. There is much to be done. My interests must be protected and my enemies destroyed. Noman Carr's efforts to expose my spies and prove his Padawan's power to the Jedi Council must meet with systemic failure. You will exhaust yourself in this charge. You honor me. The information we siphoned from that Republic agent will be our map. We know my spy on Narshadar was being surveilled. We know where this Padawan was discovered, where she trained, and that the Jedi have sent someone to investigate my spy on Balmora. The Padawan will have to be hunted down and destroyed, but first you must secure my network by silencing my spies on Balmora and Narshadar. Consider them wiped from existence. Nothing less than that will be sufficient. My contacts on Balmora and Narshadar will detail what must be done. Your tasks are paramount, Apprentice. Bring cruelty. Bring rage. Bring death. You know, I was a slave when I was a little girl. Before I got free. Sort of full circle, I guess. You work for a Sith, as all in the Empire do, but your collar has been removed. Right. I do appreciate the difference, believe me. My mother and sister and I were grabbed when I was little. I don't remember much of it. We worked the mines on Ryloth. Then they separated us. I got sold to a Rodian, then a hut. Then some sort of weird three-eyed thing. All of this while you were still a child? Yeah, I was seven or eight by the time I landed with three eyes. Anyway, I guess you know you've moved around too much when a Sith ship starts to feel like home. This is home. And this is our strange little community. I guess you're right. Watch out, I don't start calling you Pops.
Have you ever heard of Noc Drayen? Pirate. Terrified the criminal world for a few decades. He destroyed the Wrath Cartel and the Vandalhelm Combine in some giant power grab. Same guy. Yeah, same guy. Weird to think of him that way. Noc Drayen was the most famous killer in the galaxy. But he set me free. I was still slaving it up for three eyes when he crossed Noc. Or maybe he just had something Noc wanted. I never did ask. So, at one point, you did know how to keep your mouth shut? Yeah. I was an abused, well-behaved little ball of nightmares. I'm still not sure how Nock got his speeders into the camp. One minute they weren't there, and then they were. He was ruthless, but not a thug, you know? Sort of a pirate prince. Freed all the slaves, and told them they could join up, or go their own way. To truly lead and inspire fear, People must see that you are in control. That was Nock. Cool as the belly of an ice lizard. I was the smallest on the crew, and mining had taught me to fit in tight spaces. Nock's crew showed me how to steal. For a long time, I didn't feel bad about stealing. So much had been taken from me. Even the small action of taking gave you control of your life. That is everything. Well, it's a long time ago anyway. Let's get back to work, yeah? Okay, I'm done. Alright, do, do all of you have to go to... to where do you all have to go? Balmora. It just says exit your ship to Balmora. I have to put someone on Balmora. Dad, how about you? I have to finish the army quest right now. What did the guy on the hollow terminal tell you? He just said kill everybody. Wait. Top right, what does your quest say? I'm in a cutscene again. <laughs> you just told us you were done. <laughs> I know, but then I got another one. <laughs> Are you talking to your guy? Or are you talking to talking to the blue girl? Oh, vet. Yes, Vetty. All right. Well, let us know when you're done that. I call her Vetty. You're weird. I'm just Betty. <sighs> Oh, do you? Yes. Okay, I finally found where, where my control map is. Go to Korriban. That's up top, right? The seat of the Empire. Korriban. You know, I asked, yeah, did we go into Balmora first? You were like... Yeah, we're going it cost you, Did that cost you money? No, it didn't. No. It cost me money to go to Balmora, but not to Korriban. Because it's a starting planet. When you get there, go ahead and exit your ship. Sure. Sure we can handle it. You know... This is going to be a real short play session. <laughs> It's down here. Oh, I found the exit. <laughs> Over here, I found the exit. Oh, it's a new ship. I know. Not designed like my old ship. My old ship was a circle. I could just run around in circles. I got to it. Yep, he actually said that. <laughs> 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 Alright, I'm at the shuttle. <laughs> uh, I'm at I'm at walking to the shuttle. Yeah, we can meet at the shuttle. If that's what mother meant. Wow, everyone's floating like an inch off the ground. Oh, look at you and your fancy little ship. You have a theater, use it. 
Oh no, Lord Coxor is gonna take us all out with his walker. And like Xor. Xor, Xor. Accept this quest? I guess not. Is there a quest? Nah, it's it's. I'm sure, it's a flashpoint. It's just the starting level place. As I run down. I actually like mom ship. How come I didn't get one like that? You like didn't get you... lucky enough. Oh, she lucked into it. Yeah, lucky. I mean, I think I got like a little. Tricycle and she's got <laughs> I wasn't paying attention, I hope I'm going the right way. Oh no, I won. Good. Oh, I lost my ship. Uh, up to the left. Oh, this looks like a safe set of stairway. No, mm -hmm. no handrails. And then up this elevator as soon as it gets here. Now, are you going to meet Jar? Whatever his name Jar -Jar is. Jar Jar Binks. Yes. I'm, um, no, I'm going to meet. Bad. I'm going to meet Darth Zorid. Zorid. Ready? Yep. Look who made it all the way to Korriban. I think we have a visitor. Yes, my lord. Commander, I want to be informal with my bodyguards. Ah, y yes, Lady Jorida. Delightful. You, visitor, don't you find my bodyguards delightful? Absolutely delightful, my lord. Excellent. <laughs> delightful bodyguard, I have a request. Yes, my lady? Kill our visitor, please. As you wish. He's as good as dead. <laughs> Whoa, that was good. Good. Can I kill her now? Sadly, no. I saw she that coming. He ordered you to kill me. I'm gonna kill you. I just told my boss I would oh, kill wonderful. anybody. My poor bodyguards. <laughs> we haven't been introduced. I'm Darth Jorid, Lord of the Dark Council and successor to Darth Jadis. I hear you're investigating my father's assassination. I wanted to see if you were worthy. The attack was a test, then. I could sense your feelings during the fight. I think you'll do nicely tracking these terrorists. But are you really sure that this eagle killed the mighty Darth Jadis? Why do you ask? Because I thought you might know more than your superiors. Jadis believed in spreading fear and anger to every corner of the Empire. He wished to share the ideals of the Sith. Perhaps his ambitions drew too much attention. Any one of his rivals on the Dark Council might have killed him. You think a Sith was behind the attack? Perhaps. Perhaps not. Chase after your terrorists. Save the lives of your Imperial friends. But if you learn who's really responsible, come to me. I've earned my place on the Dark Council. And I won't share my She looks my like she's had fate. bad plastic surgery. Dismissed. I haven't told you how I got these scars. Oh, I knew that was coming. Where do you have to go now? Back to my ship. To Balmora. To use my ship's hollow terminal, which will then tell me to go to Balmora. I'm sure. 
Don't do it. The temptation. It's jump now. I hear and obey Dark Lord Canigliaro. <laughs> Canigliaro. <laughs> <laughs> eh, that's just so amusing. Second floor, full of Sith artifacts, force ghosts of death, and they, other, need, they need railings. And other accursed accoutrements. We're heading to our ship now. Yep. Yes, thank you for joining me on this little distraction. Watch, I'm gonna get back and it's gonna be like, oh, before you head to Balmora, we need to see you on Koraba, or on, uh, shoot, Drum and Cops, one more time. Actually, could you come back to Nal Hutta for a minute? Apparently the walker's faster than we are. It's <laughs> following us. Leave us alone, Exor, Exor. It's probably because he, he's a higher level, so he is a higher level speeder pilot. You can just take the shell directly to your ship. Yes. This is Cypher 9 to headquarters. You have my target list. Watcher 2 here. I've finished preliminary mapping of the Eagle's network. Your designated targets are terror cells located on Balmora, near the Republic border, and on Nar Shaddaa in Hut space. I just had a very interesting meeting with Darth Jadis's daughter. Any information on her? I'm afraid that data isn't mission relevant. Contact me once you've arrived at either location, Cypher. Watch her two out. All data is mission relevant. Okay. So yes, I now can travel to Balmora. I assume that's where we're off to. Mm-hmm. Balmora's in the center one, Father, by the way. It should be the top right-hand planet. My guy is talking to me. What's the situation? Tell me why not. Sorry about that, Cypher 9. Welcome to the Eastern Galactic Front. This whole star system is a crisis point. Republic and Empire are testing one another's strength. Meanwhile, the terrorists lurk in the middle. Good to see a pretty face. So long as I'm not just a pretty face. Pity the circumstances have to be unpleasant. The Eagle's men are using the war as a cover for local activities. Balmora is their training ground. Cell members recruit, instruct, and arm new terrorists here. Fresh soldiers destined for other points in the network. It's a vital part of the system. So where do I sign up to join? That I can't tell you. But you have the right idea. To dismantle the terror cell there, you'll need local support. I'm alerting one of our officials to your presence. Lacan Renald is the station chief in Sobrick, the Imperial settlement where you landed. He runs intelligence operations on Balmora and can brief you more thoroughly. 
What's your assessment of the man? He's worked for us for decades. I've never met him, but I expect he's loyal. Renald runs his affairs out of the back of an arms dealership. He'll be waiting for you when you arrive. Move quickly on this one, Cypher 9, and watch what you say. If things go bad, you'll have half a planet gunning for you. And I wouldn't have it any other way. Actually, what I should have said is, and loving it. And thanks to editing, I can correct that mistake. arrived on Balmora. Excellent. Your contact there is Lieutenant Malavai Quinn. I trust you'll find him most helpful. I have no doubt, Master. This is an important mission, and I only entrust the finest. Quinn will meet you in his offices at Sobrick headquarters. We will speak again as soon as he has briefed you. you apprentice? Excellent. You've arrived safely on Balmora, I see. Now, I hope you're ready to work. I've got a good idea of where the ancient artifact is on Balmora, but it's not pleasant. What exactly does this entail? Yes, well, let's just say circumstances have changed since Tulak Horde hid his artifact. Tulak Horde hid his artifact in a vault on Balmora one that was later converted by the Balmorans into a toxic waste storage facility. But the vault was hit badly in the last war. It's now a crater filled with toxic waste. Your artifact is at the bottom. You must have some sort of plan for how to get it, right? Regrettably, I haven't had time to put together a plan. You'll have to figure this one out yourself. But try making contact with the Imperial Resources Officer here on Balmora. Major Bessica. Bessica knows the planet, and he may even have a few good ideas. He will do whatever I say. Careful you don't alienate a potential ally. The Empire has its hands full, coping with a violent Balmoran uprising. Officially, they're a grassroots militia. Secretly, they have the Republic's full backing. I've informed Major Bessica of the Republic's involvement, so he'll be better equipped to assist you. No doubt the Republic's hounds will get in your way. I will destroy the enemies of the Empire. I expect nothing less. But the war is secondary to the artifact. Retrieve the artifact and try to be discreet. We don't want the entire Sith Order chasing our prize. You notice the Great Hunt never sends us anywhere nice? The Empire's been fighting for control of Balmara for years. Death tolls in the high seven figures. How is there anything left to fight over? The weapons factories are built to withstand attack. The people aren't. Let's see what Krista has to say about our job here. It's starting the Hollow now. Welcome to Balmora, Hunter. Your target is the right impressive Admiral Ivernus. They call him Admiral Untouchable. 
spends all his time on a fancy flagship surrounded by armed soldiers. Can't kill what you can't touch, Hunter. You gotta lure Admiral Avernus off his flying fortress and down to Balmora. To make things even more interesting, no friendly contacts here. You gotta figure this out yourself. And don't forget, the job ain't done till you're the only Hunter left standing. Good luck. I make my own luck. That's what I like most about you. He's a war hero, all right. Actually won some battles against the Mandalorians. Wonder if that's how he got on the list. Hmm, this is interesting. Turns out one of the Admiral's toadies is in the market for a bounty hunter. Let's get every piece of information on them you can pull down. The job listing contact is Lieutenant Major Purell. And get this, discretion is of the utmost importance. Whatever this is, Purell wants it secret. Let's apply for a job, and see if we can't work our way up to the Admiral. Lieutenant Major Perel's office is at the Imperial base in Sobrick. Let's go impress him and see where it leads.